Okay, so I'm just gonna go and get some gas because, you know, I've got quite a few jobs to do today. Right, lovely, let me just pull up to the gas station. I should have brought an umbrella, but it's still pretty hot, literally. Like, you know, it's giving UK weather, but honestly, it's fine. Right, let me just get a gas pump real quick and I'll just load that up. Okay, perfect, that's all done lovely and it's self-checkout, so that's good. Right then, I was gonna go and get an ice cream or something, but I guess I can order from the drive-thru at Boxy Burgers as a nice little breakfast snack. Don't see why not. Okay, let's go over there because honestly, this place like is so nice, it's just recently opened. And yeah, I actually need to try out the food quite a bit. So let's go through here. Right, drive through. Oh, lots of variety. Hi, welcome to Vlogs Burgers. What can I get for you today? Hi, can I get um, hmm, can I get one cheeseburger and a medium fries, please? Yes, that will be sixteen eighteen at the first window. All right, thank you so much. Here's your food, sir. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. All right, lovely. I think I'll just go and like park up over here and then I'll just, you know, snack out for a bit. I'm sure Maisie will be fine by herself at home. Okay, so I've, I'm at the drive through now, just got my burger. Wow, it looks delicious. Let's give it a try. Well, that is sure nice. So just a quick update on my behalf. So today, Evelyn is at work and I think both Mia and Milo are around at friends at sleepovers and Maisie, well, she was invited but she didn't really seem up to it. She was a bit grumpy yesterday so she had an early night. Obviously we'll see how she's this morning. It's probably best I may like maybe like get her something from Bloxy Burgers because if she finds out that I've got something she'll probably be even more angrier. Okay so let's just go back out. I might just go and park up maybe just on the lay-by or something and then walk in and get something. I'll just park here, why not? It is on a junction, but never mind. Who's gonna be coming here at 6 a.m. anyway? Right. Oh, quite a few people apparently. I guess I'll just wait in queue. All right, I'm at the front of the queue. Wow, it's very bright in here. Let's just come over here and then I'll order Mm, she does love her onion rings, so I'll get her one of those. Okay, perfect. Hopefully they don't get soggy because of all this rain. I'll stay under this little shelter here. Okay, let's quickly get in because I'm getting soaked. I should have brought a coat. Right, okay. Now, no cars coming. Let's take a nice left. And I guess we'll start heading home. But, of course, obstructed by a red light. As always. All right, ready to go. So I did leave Maisie in bed while I was out. So hopefully she's still there. 
because she did have a very early night last night so she might be up early she usually isn't she is like always one of those people that wake up at like 10 or 11 so perhaps she'll wake up for some onion rings we'll have to find out okay lovely home sweet home okay let me just get out of the car so i can unlock the garage door okay perfect the car well the people did actually manage to recover as much as they could from the river and they did warn me it would be very dodgy so i might just have to get a new car very soon because honestly i don't trust it at all um but it does work and stuff but you know it's still quite leaky the petrol does get out very quickly okay let's just open up the door lovely right oh go on in quick i need to put these radiators on because i, I shouldn't be doing it in summer but Oh, I need to dry myself off. Right, I'm going to go and just put this here while I go and try and wake up Maisie. Just go in nice and quietly because I don't want to go in abruptly. Maisie. What? I'm sleeping. Oh, well, don't you want to get up? No. Um, You're a bit grumpy. What's up with you? I don't know. I'm just tired. Well, you had an early night last night. You should be, you know, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, as they say. Fine, I'll get up. You're sounding very sluggish. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, I got you I'm onion hungry. rings. Do you want onion rings? Uh, no. Macy, I spent four pounds on onion rings, and I, you know I don't like them. But I don't want onion rings. I want pancakes. Um, I guess I'll just put them in the fridge ready for Milo or something later when he gets home because maybe he would want them. Okay, let me just pop those in there and I guess I'm making <sighs> pancakes. Right. Here we go. Let's look for a pancake mixture. Right. I've got the pancakes. Well, I guess if you don't want pancakes, I'll have them because, you know, I do love good pancake. I'll have a pancake. Mm -hmm. Only one. Oh, only one. I've put quite a lot of batter in. I only want one. Oh, right, okay, I'm sorry. Well, I'm just making them now. Anyway, how was your sleep? You feeling good? Yeah, it was fine. Um, okay. Um, have you spoken to any of your friends lately? Are you going to meet up with any of them? No. Um, what happened to you being so antisocial? I don't know. Okay, well, don't raise your voice at me, please. Mm. Oh, goodness me, I do not know what's up with her. Right, pancakes are ready. So let me just pop those there. Um, so you wanted one, did you say? Yeah, just one. Well, there you go then. Do you want a drink? Cool. Um, no. Oh, okay. Um, wait, Maisie, stay still a sec. You're very rashy this morning. Are you, are you okay? I don't know. Maybe I'm ill. Hmm. Did you do your skincare last night? Yeah. I put moisturiser on. Oh. That's very weird. We'll have to keep an eye on that then. It might just be that you're maybe getting a bit of eczema or something. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's nothing too major. Maybe that's what's causing your grumpiness this morning. Have you thought about that? Yeah, it might be. Well, anyway, have you got any plans today? Um, no, not really. Oh, right, okay. Um, so you're just going to be at home? Yeah, I might play with my toys. Well, yeah, but back to school soon, you excited? No, I hate mm -hmm. school. Well, that's the first normal thing I've heard this morning for once. I <laughs> thought I'd be hearing, is it opposite day? I don't know, it's, maybe it's a prank or something you're doing. Anyways, right, let me just wash up this uh plate well do you want to watch tv or anything yeah ha water balloon no thought it would make you a bit more active mm. what should we watch um up to you i'll put on the fire though because i'm honestly damp like a wet dog i'm gonna right. sit here Okay, so do you want anything to eat apart from your pancakes? Because obviously, you know, pancakes um, isn't enough to fill you up in the morning. I'm actually not hungry. I think I've had enough. Oh, okay. I was thinking popcorn or something, but never mind. 
Um, how about what do you like watching? I don't know. You don't have a favorite TV show? Like nothing? No, I don't mind. Uh, Stranger Things. Sure, whatever. Okay, before we put on that show, what is up with you? You are never like this. What do you mean? You're usually as bright as a daisy in the morning. Like you're so I'm positive. I'm fine. You don't sound fine. I'm fine. I promise. Hmm. Okay, gone. Okay. Right. Anyway, let's just put on Stranger Things for a bit, and yeah, hopefully you don't get too grumpy. Well, it looks like it's brightened up outside a bit. Do you want to go outside and play or something? No. Um, why are you shouting at me? I don't you know. You are very fine while you're watching Stranger Things. You are quiet as anything. I'm fine. I, I'm just going to go to the toilet. Oh, right, okay. Do you want anything to eat or drink? No. Oh, well, fine. Suit yourself. Goodness me, I better not be putting up with this for the entire day. But one thing I do actually need to do, however, is get on with some ironing because I haven't done some in a couple of days. So while she's in there, I guess I'll do washing up, drying up, ironing and all that. So, yeah, let's do it. Right, let me iron the clothes because oh, honestly I need to get some new school clothes very soon because school starts in literally two weeks of them and you know I need to go back to school shopping I'm so underprepared this year okay perfect and I'm just going to pop that in here just so it's out the way and then I can put it away at some point right lovely now that is one big job done I'm going to go and check on Maisie because she's been in there bit long um Maisie you okay yeah I'm fine go um, away can I come in no go away uh, why what is wrong nothing I'm fine right you're gonna open the, the door right now young lady hmm. okay fine. fine I'll leave you in peace no suit yourself honestly hmm. if I'm gonna be putting up with that all day I am not having it Oh, the pains of being a father, I swear. Oh my God. Dad? Um, Dad, can can you help me? Oh, you need my help now, do you? Yeah. Oh, this um, is the first thing you've done with me this morning. Uh, what do you want? Um, I think something's wrong. Oh, um, if you just want to go and sit in the living room for a second, then I'll be right with you. Okay. Okay, it won't be long, don't worry. Oh, is that what I think it is? Um, right, okay. Don't panic, I'm just gonna close the toilet seat and I'll deal with that later. Um, right, I need to keep calm. Right, um, I'm just gonna go and do something. Just stay right there and watch some TV, okay? Okay. Oh, my God. Right, where is the phone? I need to call Evelyn right away. Hopefully she answers. I know she's at work and I don't like to disturb her, but this is a time of emergency. Oh my God, please pick up Evelyn. Please. Dang it. Right, there's no point in leaving a voicemail because it's honestly not worth it. She doesn't get home till five and it's literally 12. Okay. Um, right, I'm here now, Maisie. Um, can I talk to you about something? Yeah. Dad, what is happening to me? Okay, so I think you're going through something called puberty. What's puberty? Okay, so before I tell you what puberty is, I just want to like say that obviously, you know, the thing that happened in the loo and, you know, I told you about the rashes on your face. I think they're spots. 
Um, but you know, it's normal. So puberty is a transition in teenagers in a teenager's life, right? In this case, well, you're a kid. Um, and it's when a child's body becomes an adult, basically. Do you know where I'm coming from? Well, not really. What do you mean? Well, however, the changes for boys and girls are different. So, you know, you might be a bit confused, but um, I've got a nice video that can maybe like explain it. Like there's something on YouTube, you know, it's nice and simple. Yeah. Perhaps you can watch it to understand. Let me just load yeah, it for okay. a second. All right, here we are. Let's watch it. When a girl hits puberty, they will go through something called a period, have sudden changes in emotion, and also seeing physical body changes. When a boy hits puberty, they will have large growth spurts, an increased muscular appearance, a deeper voice, and seeing physical body changes. One website you can use is Brooke. Brooke.org.uk provides helpful advice for boys and girls going through puberty. It explains how the body changes and when will all roughly take place, and there's so much more. Another website you can use is Planet Puberty. Planet Puberty provides information on how to maintain your health and well-being while going through puberty so you can feel confident and comfortable. It also teaches you about puberty safety through short videos that explain personal stories and experiences with puberty. If you want someone to talk to, they have chat systems where you can explain your concerns and they'll be there to help you right away. There are countless more websites that offer advice which is safe, so we will leave some more useful websites down in the description below. Make sure you refer to websites that contain org.uk rather than .com because the websites with org.uk are organisations that specialise in giving advice about puberty, whereas .com websites don't usually provide safe information for young people. Wow, that's a lot of information. See, it's nothing to be worried about. So all you've got to remember is you can always talk to parents. So in this case, me or your mum. Grandparents, well, I'm not sure if Grandpa Gerald and Grandma Gertrude would be very helpful, but you know, they're always an option. Um, For people watching, you can always talk to foster parents, teachers, um but basically the point is talk to anyone you can trust that's the most important thing because if you keep if you keep it to yourself then you know you're not going to get any help are you so um you know um we're always here to you know give you advice and help you out and we're always here to support okay yeah yeah and you know um with the thing that happened in the toilet um that's called a period and i guess that's probably best if you talk to your mum about that when she gets home. Because that's okay. a girl thing, if you know what I mean. Yeah. All right, so you feeling a bit better? Yeah, thank you. That's all right, no worries. Just, if you need anything, talk to me. Um, I think I'm going to go down to the shops now and buy you some essentials. Because, you know, there's things you need to have when you're on your period and stuff like that. Like um, sanitary pads, etc. So I'll yeah. go down now and go and get those but just sit tight relax and you'll be fine okay okay i just want to highlight how big of a topic puberty is everyone who has helped out in today's video is age 15 and over so we can ensure that this video is brought to you in the most mature way possible i want to give video credits to it's audrey for the video idea so i'll be sure to leave hers and anybody else's channels in the description below okay my clouds that will be the end of today's video if you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe once you subscribe make sure to turn on the notifications bell so you do not miss an upload big thank you to everyone that helped out in today's video it's honestly so brave of them to help out for something like this be sure to follow me on instagram follow me on roblox join my roblox group and join my discord server and if you have any questions about this topic be sure to leave them in the comment section below and without further ado i will see you in the next roleplay video bye clouds